The spring is finally back. Time to paddle at home. A moment we've been waiting for the whole winter. So as soon as we saw the temperatures rising, we headed to Dara River. Famous for its long ramps and crystal clear waters. But its upper part is a great unknown. It doesn't have many distance, and there is very little information about it. So we have always wanted to come and explore it. We are on the border between France and Spain, one of the most spectacular areas in the entire Pyrenees. With mountains over 3,000 meters, small glaciers melting down from these slopes, surrounded by a wild nature. As soon as we entered the river, we were pleasantly surprised by the beauty of the place and the quality of the rapids. But it is also much more challenging than expected. With narrow canyons, some waterfalls, very continuous rapids one after another, where it is hard to stop and where we have to be very careful not to get into a difficult situation from which we cannot escape. Bueno, estamos terminando el primer día, creo. Queríamos avanzar mucho más, pero la verdad es que el tramo de arriba es de locos. O sea, hemos llegado a la última parte, parece el cañón, así. Va a ser como 500 metros de rápido dentro del cañón y los dos juntos. Y a ver, espero que vaya bien. No es el mejor rápido para terminar el día. Ya hemos recuperado energías, desayunado algo y arrancamos de nuevo un día nuevo, ocho y media de la mañana. Caminata para arriba, 5 kilometrillos a los kayaks y a bajarlo. No para, ¿eh? Hay un tronco ahí en medio también. Sí, parece. Dentro. ¿no? Pero un tronco, eso es un árbol de 30 un... metros, tío. Ahí hay un. Por eso se ve tan feo. Creo que esto, esto está impracticable de portear. Eh, habrá que ir caminando un poco y ver dónde salimos un poco. Voy a traerlo para aquí. Y 
the spring, the winter snow begins to melt, and the water fills the valley full of life and colors. It is a very short period of the year, which I wish would last way longer. Jan and I have been friends for many years now. Even we have a 10 years age difference, and we live far away from each other. Year after year, spring brings us together again. We share dreams and take care of each other in the river, trying to achieve our goals. I think that this is a very special way to live this life, to move through this world. In my opinion, there is nothing that makes a stronger connections than a common passion. Madre mía, hace sol, pero ha hecho un viento toda la noche, la furgoneta moviéndose, han bajado las temperaturas un montón. Vamos a ver cómo está el río, si ha bajado mucho, si se puede navegar bien. Parece que ha cambiado esto drásticamente. Esperemos que se pueda remar algo. It was a downer to wake up and see that suddenly the river was dry and that the snow may have completely stopped. We didn't know if this sign at the end of the spring. So after all the effort we had put into the stand in the upper sections, we wanted, even with very little water left, to complete this adventure. We see that this is a situation that repeats more and more often winter precipitation is decreasing every year and the dimensions of the glaciers are becoming almost residual. It's sad to see that we are spectators of a change that worsens almost every year. We see that the water flows are getting lower and that all the snow disappears during the first warm spells. Rivers that we used to paddle for almost a couple of months, for the entire spring, are now much harder to catch with water. This time, we barely managed to complete this test stand, dealing with the uncertainty that constantly surrounds the water in these mountains. I would like to think that ours won't be the last generation to enjoy these rivers that give us so much, that the community will continue to gather around these rapids. But I'm not very optimistic now. The Pyrenees have been a paradise for kayakers, but unfortunately, this all have changed now. <laughs> 